Hello everyone and welcome to episode 51 of our game dev tutorials. Uh, the solution up to now will be available including all the changes right now. But I want to go over how to create a library project for you guys. Um, I've been getting some questions on it here and there and I figure it's about time to make sure that we have a portable library project. Um, so that's going to be our goal today and we are going to create the library project we are going to set a type this is the part that's going to mess people up if they don't do it right then we are going to move the files from our engine folder into the new project and we're going to change the namespace uh, then we are going to include a reference to the library project in our main project in our main solution and then we are going to uh, add the includes to the entire project so it's a lot of little busy work but none of it's all that difficult but we'll go through it one step at a time um, if you guys are enjoying my videos make sure that you hit that thumbs up button it really does help uh, comment below ask questions always happy to help um, and uh, if this is helping in any professional way make sure you consider patreon um, or you know check out my games they're on steam um, and uh, they're under Batholith, Batholith Entertainment. So, um, yeah, let's uh, let's jump right into it. So we come right over here. We highlight our solution. And we're going to uh, add a new project, and it's got to be in Visual C Sharp, Mono Game, then whatever type project you made. Okay. Uh, in my case, it's a Mono Game Windows project. We're going to name it, and I want it to always be at the bottom. So in this case, we're going to call it Z Engine. Okay, so that's going to be the name of it. Um, and we're going to add it. And there it is. You don't need content, so we can delete that. You don't need programs, we can delete that. I think you can delete this too, but I can't remember. Okay, we don't need this. Delete it. Okay, so in our engine, we're going to go to Properties. And this is the part that if you don't do, it doesn't work. Okay, so right here in output type, it says Windows application, you just need to put it on library class. And this goes for not just mono game, this goes for all kinds of things. Uh, some uh, project types don't have a library class type, like mono game doesn't. Um, and this is the way that you can uh, rectify that, and you just set the type to library class. Okay? So save that, hit the X, and now we're ready to move everything down. So in our engine, source engine, right? So everything in here is what we want. So we're going to highlight all of this, drag it down into there. Uh, we'll delete this in a minute. I'm not going to right now because it'll just throw a ton of extra errors that we don't need right now. Um, we're going to have to add some references in a little bit, but we'll get to that in a second. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to change our namespaces. So this is Z engine. Copy that. And we're going to put that in every file. It just takes a second and you know, it's a little bit of busy work, but we're going to go through it and we're going to do it. Um, and we just go through every file and change it out. Um, this is to make our code more portable okay so because it's its own namespace we'll just include this namespace in the main the main project and then we'll have access to all this stuff again but this will allow us to just take this this library class and literally copy it into another project and uh, add the references and we're good so um, I do this with every new project that I make. I just add my library class, and that's that. So this will give us the opportunity to do things like uh, game jams. This will give us the opportunity to do things uh, like just creating a second project. This is kind of a big deal. As simple as it is, it's a pain in the butt if you have to redo this for every project. We're going to do it this one time and then we'll be able to use it anywhere. Okay, so that's that. We're going to run into a couple little issues here that I know of. I'm sure we're going to need link. Yeah, see that right there. We need link. <laughs> it's right in front of my face. 
Um, so what we got to do is we gotta have to add that reference. So right here in references for Z engine, add reference. That one is in here and it's uh, XML link. There it is. Okay, so we add that. That will fix that. Okay, uh, let's look at our error list and then open uh, menu option menu. So uh, turns out <clears throat> this should have been down here. So uh, little minor thing. Option menu because it's included in your uh, game globals, uh, globals, not game globals, and we do need it here. Um, then it should have been in the engine. So globals should only be including things that are in the game engine. That was an oversight when we created it. This is just a quick fix. It was that simple. It's all done. But that is something we wanted to do. This should now build. Um, oh. Okay, you're right there. Z engine. In globals, option menu, options. Z engine. Z engine. Oh, this is the globals up in our engine. So that's our issue, uh, which is okay. We're gonna delete all of that anyway. So let's highlight all of engine, delete. It's gonna throw a crap ton of errors and that's fine. Okay, uh, what we're gonna do, we gotta go in here and add references. So this is in top down shooter or whatever your game is called. Uh, go to solution, Z engine, okay. So notice it's added there. The next thing we gotta do outside of our engine. It's also nice to have these separated so that you can close the whole thing all at once like that. Okay, so we come in to main and we're gonna go in reverse order for all of this. Notice it doesn't know what basic 2D is right now. But after we come here and we say using Z, Z engine, and then it's just gonna be easier to highlight all of it um, even though you only need that one extra line. But now see it knows what basic 2D is. So we have to go through every one of these. I mean, I'm not 100% sure every single one has to be done, but you guys know how I do things with includes on these tutorials. I'm not gonna go through and figure out exactly which one goes where. I'm just putting them everywhere. That way we don't have to fight with it. Okay, so we're just going in reverse order. You can go in the regular like top down order um, but you're gonna start seeing like hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of errors and For whatever reason I just don't like to see that so it's a minor thing it all gets cleaned up by going through this but One at a time we just go through we add them all and uh, Then it'll work and I would fast forward if I were ever to fast forward in a in a thing it would be this but um, if you <laughs> trust that all I'm doing is exactly this and I really am just doing this you can uh, fast forward to, to probably a couple minutes from the end um, but we're gonna I'm just gonna go through it I'm gonna do it on stream or on screen so that it doesn't look like I'm doing any magic I understand most of you guys don't need to see this part um, but I don't want to be the guy who makes a tutorial and does a bunch of stuff off screen and people feel like I did some magic or something and theirs doesn't work because they don't know what steps I took in the middle so I am going to sit here and go through every file regardless of the fact that it takes a while um, that being said uh, for those of you that stayed thank you because I appreciate the watch time uh, it does help but uh, some ideas on game jams you guys would want to do or if you guys would want to do a game jam at the same time as I do um, I would love to hear from you down in the comments um, I definitely am considering doing one just to kind of get a second project kick, kicked off um, I feel like this uh, 
I think I mentioned this last tutorial, but I feel like this one has become all engine stuff. And that was not the intent that I started with, but it is the things you guys were asking for, so um, I changed what I wanted to do. And then it kind of got off track, and as you'll know with uh, other projects hopefully you guys have worked on, um, the longer something goes, the more you change what you want to do, and so this one kind of isn't what I wanted it to be. Uh, it's great for teaching you guys how to do things, but it's not like really becoming a game very quickly, that's for sure. Um, it has lots of parts of things that look like game, like a game, but it's not really the greatest game. So, um, if you have ideas that what you'd like to see, I'd love to hear them. Uh, that doesn't mean that I'm going to go with them, but, you know, I'd love to hear from you guys. Um, also, if you're working on something, make sure you're posting it either here or on my Discord or something. So, first of all, that I can see it, um, and I'll give any kind of feedback or whatever, but also um, so that we can start to form a little community around all this. Um, I think that would be awesome to have a bunch of people that when people's games come out, they can buy them and review them and all that kind of stuff and help people, you know, kind of grow. And uh, one of the best ways to do that is be part of a community. And so building one here would be wonderful. Um, you know, I will definitely pick up you guys' games. I mean, almost indefinitely. Uh, in order to help you guys out. And, uh, you know, I'd hope that you guys would do that for each other as well. So, anyway, we're almost done here. Just slowly going through every single one. And then once we do that, we will have a working game again. But this time, we'll have a working game with an engine class, or engine uh, library. All right, that should be it. Let's build it. See if it breaks, doesn't break. We run it. And here we go. So this should play exactly the way it used to with the difference being that it is its own library. All right, guys, that is the tutorial. So this is how you set up a library class in Mono Game. Uh, and actually, it's, it's kind of how you do it in any uh, C-sharp application, but I hope this guy it helped you all. Uh, if you enjoyed it or at least or got help in any way, please hit that like button. Uh, if you uh, have some time, make sure you throw up a comment and uh, uh, Discord. I know I mentioned it earlier, but you know, check it out. And yeah, Patreon if you uh, feel so inclined to help out with all these projects and keeping things going. And I will see you guys next time. Enjoy the full solution linked below.